So you're in Betaflight 4.4 and you notice some things aren't working for you. For example, you have your protocol set to SBUS and telemetry turned on, but you notice your smart port telemetry is not working. Or you want to use the acro trainer function, you set it to 45 down here, hit save, but then when it saves and reboots, it turns back to zero. Well, the issue may be that you didn't build some of those features into the cloud build system. Those aren't on by default in the cloud build system. And since those features are not in the build that you built for Betaflight and flash to your flight controller, that's why they're not working in the configurator. So today we're going to show you how you can figure out what functions and features you do have built in the current version of Betaflight on your flight controller. Pretty simple, we're gonna go over to the CLI in Betaflight, and then we're just gonna type in status down here at the command line. And then we're gonna look for this build key line item right here. We're gonna go ahead and copy that to our clipboard, make sure we get the whole thing, of course. From there, pull up your favorite web browser. In this example, I'm just gonna use Chrome, and I will drop this link down below. So you copy this link down in the video description, and you're gonna put that in the address bar up top and where it says build key, we're just gonna paste in that build key that we copied, make sure there's no spaces before or after. And once you have that entered into there, just hit enter. This will take you to the page that logged what was actually built into the flight controller. So these are the features that were selected from the build. And this is what's on there by default. You can then compare these items from the selections up here and you can see that there's nothing down here that says S port telemetry. There's nothing in here that says Mavlink, LT, things of like nature. So if it's not in this, this is the specific build on your specific flight controller. Likewise, you'll see in there, there's not acro trainer, there's not battery continuity, there's not camera control. So some of these functions, if they're not working, you can check out to see if it's actually in the build that you have on the flight controller. And then if it's not, of course, you'll need to reflash your flight controller selecting those. So say we want camera control, we'd have to come into this build environment here and say we do want smart telemetry. We'd have to select both of those and then go ahead and reflash your flight controller. So here's just another example. This is with most of the features selected in the cloud build system. Not all of them, but a lot of them. You can see in here we have acro trainer, uh, magnetometer dashboard is the post flight statistics. So that's in here. And those are not in the default. Uh, likewise, smart port telemetry is down here, uh, so on and so forth. So this is what you'd see for more of selecting a bunch of the stuff for the cloud build system, which fits just fine on this F7 flight controller, you know, selecting all these different options. Uh, but this is what you're gonna get with the, just the default, which nine times out of 10 is everything you basically want. But sometimes, uh, you know, camera control, for example, that's fairly common. So you might wanna add that. Uh, and if you didn't uh, add that in when you flash flight controller, maybe you have to reflash and go ahead and add that in so you can get that option. And another quick tip, if you're trying to figure out what some of these things are, don't forget to go over here and check out this wiki thing. Just click that and that will take you to this website. And then you can browse down here on the Betaflight wiki and check out what these other options are. So you can see the battery continuity, like what is that? There's a little link to that PR. Uh, acro trainer, like we talked about, you probably know what that is, but the and, you know dashboard, what does that mean? So on and so forth. So check those out. That's it. Pretty sweet and simple. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down below. Thanks everybody. And I hope this helped.